To get everything set up, we're going to start off creating a new drawing using Imperial, which is feet and engines. And set up so we have our grid turned on and our snap settings should be turned on as well with X and Y spacing at a half inch for both the snap and the grid. Then we're going to go into our layer properties manager and create a new layer. Actually two new layers with the following settings. The first one we're going to call construction. We're going to change, we're going to keep the color as white and the line type as continuous and we're going to create another layer that we're going to call object. And we're going to change the color of that line to blue and again keep the line type as continuous. We're going to go back and highlight construction as the main layer make sure that set is current and then we're going to close out that dialog box in the status bar area reset the option button so only snap mode and grid display are switched to on so we only want these first two snap mode grid display now we're going to start drawing construction lines. Construction lines are the lines that extend to infinity in either direction. They're usually used as references for creating other objects and we're going to be placing them on the construction layer so the layer can be frozen or turned off later. So we're going to select the construction line icon in the draw toolbar. It asks us to specify a point or horizontal, vertical, angle, bisect, or offset. Uh, to orient construction lines, we generally specify two points. There are other orientation options. We're going to select a location near the lower left corner of the graphics window. It's not necessary to align objects to the world coordinate origin. Uh, CAD provides us many powerful tools to manipulate geometry so our main goal is just to use the CAD system as a flexible powerful tool and let the computer do its work. We're just going to pick a location of somewhere over here and some point directly above it to create a vertical construction line. Now I'm going to move it directly horizontal of it and create a horizontal construction line right mouse click to end your construction line creation and turn off the snap option on your toolbar. Now we're going to use the offset command. We've used this before. It's nothing new. Uh, we're going to select the offset icon and it asks us to enter a distance. Uh, we want the offset distance to be point, or, I'm sorry, 5 inches. So type in 5 and click enter. In the command prompt area it asks us to select the object to offset. We're going to pick the vertical line and go to the right side of that and hit the space bar to repeat the offset or you can right click to repeat offset. Uh, now we want to make another offset, only we don't want to use this 5 inches anymore, we want 2.5 inches. So type in 2.5 and hit enter. It asks you to select an object to offset. We want to pick the horizontal line and pick a location that's directly above that. And we are going to uh, repeat that same series of events. We're going to make a so space, space, repeat your offset. We're going to make a space that's above this line and to the right of this line that's an inch and a half. So type in 1.5 and hit enter. We're going to lay, leave a one and a half inch space above and to the right of the section that we just created. And we're also going to go back. So space, space, offset. Uh, we're going to change that distance to 3.
and we'll create a three inch offset on this vertical line and on this horizontal line as well. Go ahead and hit escape and we'll get started with the next tutorial as soon as you finish that.